Hey, and welcome to another Ad Skills tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to find affinity and in market audiences that you may want to test inside of AdWords itself. If this is the first time you're ever watching an Ad Skills video, I just wanted to say welcome. My name is John Belcher, I'm the teacher here, and I'm excited to be able to share knowledge with you. So, in this video, we're talking about how to find affinity and in market audiences within AdWords. The reason you want to do this is because it allows you to find better targeting. You can target the people and not the content. Now I'll explain that more in a second. What I really want to do right now is talk about the difference between affinity and in-market audiences. So Google covers search, YouTube, the display network, and Gmail. It's billions of people that can understand their actions of what they're doing online every single day. So affinity audiences look at people's typical online behavior. I'm a football fan, played football at Notre Dame. So I am a huge, you know, I look for football scores, I search for football scores, I watch football things on YouTube, I'm reading about football on the display network, all kinds of things. So Google knows that it puts me into the football fan affinity category. However, if, if I break from my typical behavior and I start looking for cars, that's my in-market audience. Google knows, hey, John broke his typical behavior, he's looking at cars now, so he's in market for cars. Now, understanding the distinction is important because a lot of times businesses can, can effectively advertise to one or the other. They can advertise to what people are commonly interested in or what they're interested in in a specific period of time. Rarely does both happen. Sometimes it does, but it's not very common. So the goal here is to go through and help you figure out which affinity or in-market audiences might make sense for you to test so you can go through and try them out in AdWords and find a way to scale. And that brings us to how do these make your life better? Well. When it comes to typical GDN or YouTube campaigns, you typically have to go through and do keyword research, placement research, topic research. You know, there's a lot of, of steps to going through and finding quality, uh, you know, places to advertise. What I really love about this is these, it's a little bit of a, a shortcut for me. It's something that says, hey, we've got data in the past. These are particular audiences that have worked. Uh, they look like they're correlated to conversion. Let's go through and try them and see if we can scale any. And that's where it's really exciting is, you know, when you're, when you're advertising on keywords or placements, you're getting super qualified traffic, but the scalability is pretty limited. There's only so many people visiting that website or, or search, you know, reading about that keyword on a daily basis. Sometimes the scale is massive, you're targeting a big audience, but sometimes it's, it's pretty limited. And that's where these really come into play. Affinity and in-market audiences allow you to target the person behind the device and not the content they're consuming. So if I'm in the market for a car, you could serve me an ad while I'm watching something on football and I'm still qualified because I'm in the market for a car and I'm paying attention to that stuff even though the content is not related to cars. That's where this becomes so powerful. So what do you need in order to go through and do the process I'm about to teach you? Well, you need a Google AdWords account and you need audiences already built to review that have a certain number of people and then typically over a thousand. So you're going to build remarketing audiences on the web and YouTube or you can upload customer lists, which is emails, and go through and see the stat breakdown for all of them. Now, typically it takes Google a day or two to go through and process these. It's not a super fast action. So what I always recommend is set up your, your audiences, let the data run for a little while, and then go through and review them and say, you know, you can figure out really the best opportunities. But, you know, this is, this is really important to go through. You especially want to be looking at conversion audiences. So anyone who opted in, bought a product, those types of things. That's where this becomes really, really helpful. And you need to give Google enough data that can actually give you information back. So the steps of the process we're gonna go through, first thing we're gonna do is open up our AdWords account. Then we're gonna go into the new audience manager and check out the insights. We'll select the audience we wanna review, review the specifics and record them. And that way we can transfer that over to new ad groups and go through and test out each one of these audiences individually. So let's head over to AdWords, I'll show you how to do this. Okay, so we're inside our test AdWords account. I came up here, I clicked on the wrench, went to audience manager, and now I'm looking at audience insights. And so what you can see here is from these insights, we're looking at a demographic, we can break it down by locations, devices to understand what are our best performers. So we've got all this information here, it's super valuable, and then relevant audiences. So these are ideas that we could go implement with campaigns based on the audience we've got. This is Google saying, here's the correlation between people who are in the market for this and the number of people who have taken whatever action you've got with your audiences. So the audience, we've got the ability to use website visitors, YouTube visitors, and customer lists. Now I'm not gonna walk through these, I'm actually in a client's account, so I'm not gonna show you any of this. So what I care about right now is just making sure I write down the top in-market audiences that look at correlation, so the index, uh, and this is what's really cool, you can come in here, 16.1 times more likely than the general population to be in the market for home equity loans. 
So that's a really cool piece of information that we can go through and build campaigns based off of this. In addition, with the affinity audience, the same thing. Now the index is gonna be lower because this client is very much focused on the in-market piece. If you've got a more broad appeal, you're probably gonna have it be the opposite where your in-market lower is and your affinity audiences are higher indexes. So what's cool about this is number one, you can see the correlations, so you can kind of prioritize, and also you can see the size. So you understand the opportunity to go through and scale your campaigns based on the size of your audience. Really awesome information. If you're not utilizing this and you're doing advertising on AdWords, you have a huge opportunity in front of you to go scale. So please make sure you do this now. So if you found this tutorial helpful and want to learn more about how to effectively advertise on Google, make sure to check out our Google Ads pathway. It includes our Bulletproof YouTube ads, Bulletproof AdWords ads, and Bulletproof GDN ads courses. And honestly, it's the culmination of my experience when I worked at Google, my time with clients afterwards, and Justin's experience with clients is all wrapped into one. If you want to be successful advertising on Google, this is the number one resource that will help you do it. And if you like free stuff, don't forget to check out the Ad Skills Quarterly Giveaway. The link is in the description. If you like free stuff like Amazon gift cards, Barnes & Noble gift cards, Xbox, PlayStation, even Bose headphones, make sure to check it out. We give away stuff every quarter, and all you have to do to enter is subscribe to our YouTube channel, like our Facebook page, follow us on Twitter, little things like that. So don't forget to head over there and enter yourself for a chance to win. Thanks so much, and have an awesome day.